Hello and welcome. Today we're gonna be dwelling in the back rooms once again. We've seen the first video and the last one. And now I actually want to know what's going on here. So let's take a look. On July 2nd, 1988, the ASM Research. I love the unsettling music already. Low proximity magnetic distortion systems. Yeah, this is definitely sci fi. Low proximity magnetic distortion of the system, something. I don't understand a word. That's a great. Third time, the test regarding the results of the experimentation have not yet been released. During a press conference held in April of 1988, I am back. That's a very weird, creepy voice shift there. I don't know what's happening there. Maybe we will find out. Vice Director of the ASN Foundation described the intention of these tests, stating this program is granted sufficient backing okay. from the United States government will offer a solution to all current... Yeah, this is just meant to uh, induce a terrifying mood, uh, and I love it, you know? Because, I mean, did you understand, like, every word... Uh, I probably understood two words out of uh, all of this. Storage and residential needs and save billions of dollars on property. This voice is so creepy, it sounds like a evil monster is uh, crying. Production and management. Right. Something's gonna blow up here. All right. Makes sense. Okay, so yeah, I don't know what happened here. This is like the portal to the dimension of the monsters or something. Now let's check out first contact. Alright. What does this mean? Is the name censored or something? This looks like some uh, Japanese uh, facility where they create uh, cell phones or something, I don't know. Mm -hmm. So this is the thing that uh, exploded or whatever happened the previous time. But as you can see, uh, this is the perspective of the person who is watching them enter the building or whatever this is. If they only knew where uh, this would lead them. But again, something's warping. Something's out of control. I just love when uh, somebody says, Jesus Christ, you know, uh, something is going really wrong. Mm -hmm. And there we go. Is this the discovery of the yellow rooms? Okay, so from what I figured, they uh, 
I don't know, teleport into these rooms. Uh, obviously, this isn't Earth or anything like that. And guess what? All of a sudden, some people started uh, going missing. This guy definitely listens to a punk rock, just saying. Okay. This guy doesn't even have a name. Or maybe his name is Reward. <laughs> uh, this is a child. Looks like me when I was a kid. Okay. So from 1987 to the present, people are vanishing. I wonder where they're going. Okay, so this is why they're exploring it, right? Because so many people are gone. All right. I thought he was wearing sandals, I don't know why. But yeah, this is a familiar, creepy atmosphere. That sound. Mm -hmm. Just your regular hole in the ceiling. Okay. So it looks like they uh, located something, whatever that is, looks messy, very messy. This is a human, man. Mm -hmm. This wasn't in the last report. No, this is this is definitely new. This looks disgusting. I don't even know what this black thing is. Doesn't look like it's just blood. It's, it's organic. It's some kind of fungus. Oof. If anybody blame him, who should I blame? I wonder. So I guess this is where they found uh, the first person, I guess three years later since people started vanishing, you know? So now they're trying to explore everything. I mean, just imagine walking down these creepy rooms and uh, finding this scene. I don't even know. Would you like run away? Would you stay here? Would you get a weapon? Let me know what would you do. I honestly don't even know what I would do. Probably arm myself with some uh, space weapons. I mean, I'm sure they have some uh, sci-fi stuff. Uh, I just don't understand why they uh, aren't using it, okay? I don't know. That's just uh, what's going on in my mind. So, uh... We'll stop here for now, for uh, tonight. Uh, be careful when uh, going to sleep. Once again, make sure you uh, lock the door uh, 17 uh, times, alright? And uh, if you enjoyed this video, or if you got terrified by this video, make sure to comment, like, share, subscribe, and uh, click the notifications button. And uh, if you don't already follow Kane Pixels, make sure to do that. I mean... I'm subscribed. I love this guy. See you in the next video. Peace out.